Hey, good morning, band students. Hope you're doing well. I hope you're continuing to still uh, wash your hands and uh, keep your six feet away from uh, anyone when you get outside of the house uh, and staying healthy, eating well, uh, sleeping well, and uh, enjoying some time at home. Um, quick reminder, please make sure you're signed up for Smart Music. Uh, the link is below in the description if you uh, if you need any uh, help for, for um, signing up. It's in the description, so please sign up. Uh, I'm going to start posting assignments uh, starting next week. So if you're not signed up, um, that's not going to work. So please make sure you are signed up. Now, band students, I want to talk to you and give you some tips about uh, uh, warm-ups and, and effective ways to practice while you are at home. Uh, I have my trombone with me, and we're going to talk about uh, long tones. And long tones are a great way to warm up. Uh, when you get your instrument first out of its case, not only to physically let it warm up, but also warm up your uh, your embouchure muscles as well. And so there are three things that should be uh, thought about during your long tones. And so make sure your long tones are consistent in terms of your volume, in terms of your tone, and in terms of your pitch. Make sure it's not riding up and down. Uh, like a roller coaster. So that word consistent, a long tone should be totally consistent. It should be the same at the beginning, the middle, and the end. Now I like to equate a long tone to almost like when you're exercising, instead of doing something really complex like a, like a basketball or like another kind of game, uh, long tones are almost like doing planks or like wall sits where you're holding something for a long amount of time, but you're building up your, your stabilizing muscles when you're doing an exercise like a like a wall sit or a uh, or a plank, and so uh, consistency. Let's talk about that. And so uh, here's a B flat, top of the B flat scale, uh, and I'm gonna try to play a note as consistent as possible, and I'm gonna try to aim for 10 seconds. That's the goal. So big breath, uh, really good posture. Make sure your posture is really good. Uh, Aiden Rice, thanks for the reminder on that. Um, here, good posture, big breath. So that was about 12 seconds. I can keep going, but you don't want to hear the rest of that. And so uh, I felt like that was a really consistent long tone. So my tone stayed the same, my volume stayed the same, and my pitch stayed the same. So again, consistent. That's the word I'm looking for. Here's some examples on inconsistent long tones. I'm going to play a long tone that's inconsistent incons in volume. I think you can imagine what this will sound like. <laughs> Tone. What about the quality of your sound? Tone. Uh, what about that? Here. No, that's also not good. Uh, and then your pitch. Your pitch. Making sure that your your the level of your pitch, the note that you were playing, stays exactly the same. It doesn't waver at all. slide I wasn't changing uh, uh, the note I was playing it was still a B flat ish it was still not it was not great so again consistency in your long tones um, next step after you play like a scale or maybe your seven or eight notes on a on, on long tones do all seven or eight in a scale um, next thing you can do is use them as as range expanders so uh, open up the fingering chart in the back of your red book or, or have a fingering chart available from wherever you have your fingering chart out and use them as a range expander so play the highest note that you can comfortably play so let's go ahead and say b flat's the highest note i can play hold it for 10 seconds and then i'm going to go the next note over on the fingering fingering chart which would be b natural here's fourth position and you can use that as a range expander to expand high and low so look at the next note lower on your fingering chart for range expansion ideally you can get all the way up to the top of the fingering chart i believe on the trombone it peaks out at high f and you can even go higher from there if you want so 
some ideas to add into your practice regimen, band students. Again, sign up for Smart Music and check the website hillcrestmsband.blogspot.com for uh, continued updates. Uh, I'm going to post at least once a week. Um, good to see you. Well, see, you, you know what I mean. Uh, hope you're well and uh, see you soon. Thanks.